right? Whoever came up with this, I mean, this is pretty freaking sweet. Again, there is a first game of that, which is done with uh, RPG Maker, actually. So it's not as crazy as this, but um, I think it's also a one-man project, if I remember that right. And um, the visuals are sort of equally strange, but uh, a lot less polished than this, because, you know, it's just RPG Maker 2D sprites that they're using there. But this, this is really just on another level. So now, with a little button that we pressed, we opened this gate. And we can actually get out. So up here is a little empty store. This is actually the cafe where the owner was kidnapped. So we're gonna have to find this guy and get him back. Because he can sell us coffee and stuff. And who doesn't like coffee? So we can get out of this cave system down here. We're back in the city. Aw, thank you for the follow, Likey. <laughs> you just wanted to hear me say that. Alright, let's see. So this guy we already talked to. Up there is nothing really left to get. I think over here is another place that we haven't checked out yet. That's right. <laughs> Alright, the Dusmoln, how is it going? No, no, I am small dunda. The Dustmoln went to north, across the ocean, chasing rumors of active cabinets. Well, I see. I see. I don't know what that was about, but I see. There's these little floating uh, sacks of meat. As our meditations turned more practical, bodies became largely superfluous. Superfluous? There we go. When the accretion buried the sage's great ship, Dislar and Moon, my wife and I were stranded here on the surface. I understand. I understand your troubles. Now there's this couple of, these couple of uh, coins that we can't actually really get to from here. So we can only get this one. And that one, I suppose. And we need to find another way to get the ones up top. There's one more item down here. We found boots. We can actually immediately put those on because boots are nice. They give us flesh and speed. And who doesn't want flesh and speed? Right. Speed is basically just, you know, the attack order in uh, combat. So whoever has the most speed attacks first. It's regular RPG stuff. All right, let's see. So we need to find a way to get sort of up to the top somewhere. There's this other guy sitting here. I don't know if we've talked to him. An impassable force field surrounds Odozier's fortress. I'd wager they've set up a worm remotely for the purpose. It's how I'd do it. Well, that's how I'd do it too, bro. I have no idea. Again, you know, I have the benefit of having played through this once, so I kind of know what they're talking about. But really, I mean, you know... If you're seeing this for the first time, this is sort of... You experience exactly what I was experiencing. This door is locked from the inside. That's again a very Souls-like sort of mechanic where... Hmm... I need to get to this from another angle then, huh? Let's not go here first. Let's go up here, actually, if I didn't miss that jump. Because there is a nice item to be had up there. This door, I think, is also locked. Yeah, neat upper house key. Oh, yeah, speaking of key, let's see, there's a banana floating around here. And we kind of need to try and get that. Yeah. Bananas are nice. I don't actually remember what they do, but hey, it's a banana. Come on. They're healthy. They're good for you. Let's see, what do you have to say? Calthamite husbandry. Oh, no, we actually talked to this guy again. Don't need to repeat that. I think that key that the other guy gave us, there is a house that we've already been to. It's right over here. So now we can open this door with the house key that we got. Now if we get in here, there's another monitor. And with that, we get our second ability, actually, which is Soul Crisper. Ah, I just love these animations. It's so good. So Soul Crisper is a pretty good ability. If we go into our gestures menu. The target is afflicted with burning for two turns, causing recurring flesh damage and reducing flesh gain. 
So this is a nice little DOT that we can apply. And it's always nice to have. Right? The animations are amazing. And again, I think it's made with like claymation stuff. Not too sure, but I think that's how they did it. I don't know about like this stuff, but uh, the enemies in combat and everything especially, pretty sure that's how they did that. So over here, if we check here, there's another item to be had. We found juice. Pretty nice. Won't say no to some juice. And up here is, I don't know what to call it, the mayor's uh, office. I don't really know. I knew Vuex would betray us. Villainous slug. That's right, that damn Vuex. Oh yeah, enjoy your dinner. Chief Blairell is uh, not in at the moment, I'm afraid. Oh, feel free to go in though. What are you having for dinner? Slap some bugs over here real quick. And over here... Sir Pongorma! What brings you to New Muldool? The tri-cushion chair lies vacant. Lord Blairol has been abducted, taken north to view Wax's edifice. Old Wayne sends prescribed gestures and sent me to warn Blairol. He must be recovered. Just so, and I've sourced fresh pneumatophores to facilitate our journey. I trust you need no instruction in their usage. I think they went over this at the Wayne house. Give me that. And now we got pneumatophores. You may regard the pneumatophore in your inventory to see a control summary. And Pongorma joined the crew. So this is actually our first crew member. So now this looks a little bit more like a classical RPG with somebody following us. And we can run around and they do exactly the same stuff as we. This is the tri-cushion chair that lies empty. Ah, what a shame. <laughs> so anyway, there's this guy over here. None may enter the treasure room so long as I remain here. So he's guarding the treasure room. We are going to get to that at some point. We're finding a way to get rid of you. Just you wait. That treasure will be mine. But not for now. What we can actually do is we can jump up here. There's a little secret area, if you want to call it that. Because now that we've got these pneumatophores, we can actually sort of fly after we jump. But it's still a little bit tricky to get up here. There we go. And there we go. Now we can take this ladder. And up there we caught a little bit of a glimpse of the treasure room, actually. So over here is one muscle applique, which is really, really nice. And we can immediately just use that on Wayne. I'm just gonna use all the muscle appliques on Wayne. That's kind of the standard thing that I do. And that gives us one more power. So now we're a little bit more powerful in combat. Let's see. I think there's a couple things that we can still do in town, if I remember that right. Up over here, we can't actually go here. This dock key is required, so let's actually fly now that we can do this. So that kind of just lets us travel around a little bit faster and it lets us access areas that we couldn't get to previously. So I think what we should do is we should get up here for once. If I find a way. There we go, there we go. Jump up on these things and into this hole. And there's a little bit of stuff that we can get here. Cupcake and a stem cell. And a little bit of money too. Nice. So stem cells, they're just kind of like uh, healing items over time. So in combat you can use those and it'll heal you on every turn. It's pretty nice. So I think, I think this, no, this is just, this area just leads to the coffee, yeah, that's right, to the coffee shop, which we don't need to get to. And I think all the other areas we've actually explored. If we want to get the, the coins that are floating around here, we actually need another item that we don't have yet. And I don't think we can get that right now. So let's just uh, keep going. 
And there's one more thing that we can do in this town. We can jump up here, and now that we've got the new metaphors that good old Pongorma here gave us, we can actually fly over this little chasm here. Chasm? I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, no. Well, that wasn't quite right. Let's actually drown ourselves real quick, because that's faster to get back. All right. And now, let's not mess this up. Back up here. All right. And just jump over there. And up here is another shop. And this guy's selling gloves. Now, gloves are basically kind of like your weapon in this game. You get power from them, which is uh, just a straight up attack power. And then you can get some other stuff like speed and flesh and whatnot. So we have 51 bones. It's not a lot, but we can actually get two pairs of long gloves just for our party that we've got right now. So let's get those and equip them. Because, you know, anything's better than not wearing any gloves. Really. Just as a general sort of life advice. If you can wear gloves, just do it. All right. Now we found a dubious berry in this chest down here. I don't think there's anything else to be had. Yeah. And the dubious berry is a uh, strange little item which can... Wait, where is it? By things. There it is. The target regains 40 flesh and 40 will, but it becomes poisoned. So I think maybe the best application for this would be at the start of the battle to immediately poison an enemy. Or, I don't know, sort of towards the very end. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that right now. So I think we're actually done in New Moldul for now. And we can make our way over to View Wax's edifice. And View Wax... That scoundrel. He's actually the guy who kidnapped uh, the king, mayor, however you want to call him, of this town. And especially the cafe owner. How could you, Viewax? How could you? Small business owner, he was just trying to get by. And you're doing that to him. But anyway, so we can get up here now. And we can use the new metaphors that we got and fly over the ocean now. So this is an area we couldn't previously get to. And up here on this little island, there's not really much to get. This here is an airship landing strip type of deal. We can't call it an airship right now. We must first acquire it. So we're going to get that later. That little holographic thing rotating up top. That's what we're going to get. And we're going to be able to fly it around. And it's freaking sweet. But for now, we'll have to make do with just flying on our own here. So let's get over here, and let's pay View Wax a visit. So on View Wax's island, there's not a lot to be had. Actually, let me see right quick. Oh yeah, I'm still on half health. But that shouldn't be a problem. Because I was thinking maybe we should go back to the Wayne house and heal up. But actually, once we get to View Wax's sort of fortress type of deal up here, there's a couple of bugs we can slap, so it shouldn't be a problem. So let's enter this place, because there's nothing much else to be had on this island. All right. And now we're entering the belly of the beast here. Not quite yet, but soon enough. So let's slap some bugs if we find them, so we can actually get some health back. Here's some sneaky money hidden behind a tree. I don't think there's anything else over here. Yeah, this should look... This should be just fine. So if we go up these stairs, you know, in anticipation of enemies and battles to be had, well, door is shut. We can't actually get in here. So this way is off limits for us for now. So we'll have to find another way to get into this place. So let's follow this inconspicuous trail of money over here, and let's see where that leads us. So, we go over this bridge, and we have two paths to go. We could go over to the right, and we could go down here. But there's enemies coming. 
So let's try and avoid those for now and press this big nice button so we get another teleport. Pretty sweet. But I don't think there's much more to be had over here. If you're wondering what this thing is, I can't explain it to you either. I don't know. No idea. I've wondered that for my whole first playthrough and I still haven't figured it out. It's probably just decoration. You really shouldn't question too much about this game. It's, you know, if, if something's strange, eh, it, it just is what it is. All right, so let's collect that banana up there and get back down here. So I don't think I want to fight that group of enemies right now because my Wayne is actually low on health. What we can do is we can just jump around here, avoid those, and get some health from those bugs. And now we're actually back, oh, 69, nice. We're actually back up to full health. So this little thing down here is a trampoline. We can just use it to get around a little bit faster. That way we don't have to um, climb those stairs. Ah, I thought I could get them. Ah, man. Ah, you know, you win some, you lose some. All right, let's try and fight these guys. What we're gonna do first, mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna soul crisper this dude. Because again, those I'm always a little bit wary of. That's great. He didn't summon enemies on his first attempt, so I think we're going to be good. Who else are we going to get? Hongorma is already down to half health, which is nice. Beautiful. I think we're going to get this guy. Oh, we should be all right, though. We should be fine. Yeah, that was great. All right. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. So let's uh, dissolute him too. Hopefully he'll die. Uh, he'll die next turn, so that's good. And we should be okay. Yeah. So now we can just heal up. Easy. Now this is actually, I think this is set to like normal difficulty and I think that's good enough. Um, again, you know, it's it's pretty casual, so it's not really a problem if we die in this game. We don't lose on anything. Um, but yeah, you know, casual playthrough. It's how it's going to be. Just snap this guy to death. And there we go. Easy as pie. We got a couple bones, meat, and antennas. Antennas are going to be useful to us later. Quite a bit later, actually, but it's nice to collect them for now because we can, I think, power up our gestures that way or something like that. I don't quite remember what they actually do. All right. So now we've fought these guys. Let's go back down here. And these bugs actually respawn, so you don't really have to be worried about, you know, conserving them in case you're going to need to heal back up or anything. You can just slap them away. They're going to be back once you change screens and come back. So it's no problem. Are we back in full health? We are, but we can get some will. That's good enough. All right, and over here, there's a strange little fella just roasting one of these enemies on a fire. So who might you be? The Dusmon. How's it going? Wayne, I'm infiltrating the fortress. My research suggests that an intact cabinet lies within its walls. Our task has likewise brought us to this place. We'll combine forces. Excellent. A canal leads under the fortress walls. Take this paddle and use the canoe. Nice. Now the Dusmon has joined our crew, so now we're up to three people in the party. Which is always great. So let's take this enemy off the fire. We get some meat. Nice. And let's raid the Dusmon's tent over here. Get some money and a cupcake. Ah, beautiful. All right, so now we can use this canoe over here. He calls it boat, canoe, whatever you want to call it. And we can get into the fortress that way. There's an enemy over here. If we can slap him, there we go. So now we slapped him. And now if you look at our will, we actually have a little bit more maximum will than we used to have. Now this is only for this battle, but it's great to have. So let's 
dissolute an enemy. Because what dissolution does, I haven't explained this yet, dissolution reduces an enemy's power by 20% and then does a DOT on top of that, which is really nice to have. So let's dissolute this guy first, I suppose. I don't really quite remember what the enemy types actually do in this game, so I'm kind of wild guessing which enemies I should focus on first or not. But again, this is pretty casual, so it's not really a big deal. We should be able to get through the fights pretty easily at any rate, so... This guy's gone. So let's, uh, soul crisper somebody else. I suppose this guy. And then I think from here on out, we're just gonna keep snapping, maybe. Let's see how much damage these guys do. Hmm. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. We should be able to get away with just snaps from here on out. Now this glaive strike that this guy does is pretty powerful. So I hope he doesn't do it again. But we should be alright. Yeah. No problem. Alright. That's the next fight done. We got a couple bones, cookie, antenna, meat. We're showered with items here. No big deal. All right. Great, let's keep going. So down here, that door, we can't open that yet. So we're gonna have to find a key for that to free all of these poor little prisoners over here. So let's see if we can get that. So this is our way into the castle. And now we're actually on the other side of that door that we saw when we first came in here. Ah, I missed the slap. I think this is going to be a pretty bad fight because we're already pretty roughed up. And these enemies, hmm, yeah, it's going to be tough. So I think I'm going to dissolute this guy first with Wayne, try to get his power down. I don't really care if he heals up, as long as he does less damage than he than he does. Oh no, I think he actually healed the dissolution status away, so that's bad. <laughs> so let's see if we have an item that maybe heals the party. I don't know if we have one yet. No. So this is going to be a little tough. So let's see. I think we can just get a cupcake for, hmm, hum, 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 hum. Let's get a cupcake for Wayne. Because I am pretty partial to Wayne as my main sort of character. No way that didn't kill him right now. That's strange. Hey, that's great. We didn't lose a party member yet. But even if we did, it's really not a big deal. We can either get him back with Soul Sponge or, you know, it's, uh, once the fight is over, if we don't completely lose, they just respawn with one HP, so it's really not that terrible. Hmm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Banana or a burrito? Let's just eat a banana with this guy, huh? And look at these wonderful animations, huh? It's so good. It is so good. All right, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna gesture it. We're gonna do another dissolution on this guy. Let's hope he doesn't heal that away this time. All right, he charges up, which is still not that great, but I hope this time we can make it through. So let's soul crisper him too. Might not have been the best idea to just leave this little dude on the right just completely unattended, but I hope it's gonna be fine. So if we can snap this guy away in a couple turns before he manages to phone anybody else. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so we should be okay. We should be okay. That's fine. This guy just sort of wasted a turn healing his ally. As long as he doesn't attack us, I don't mind. So we're just going to do this, and now we should be completely fine. We're just going to be able to snap this guy away. 
So he just wastes all his turns healing himself or others, which is great. As long as I don't take damage, do whatever you like. Great. And that should do it. Nice. Got a couple more bones, cookies, antenna, meat, steam cell, all the great things. All right, got a couple more coins. Let's see, I think we're a little bit roughed up, are we? Actually, we're looking pretty good, but we can restore some will with these, uh, with these bugs over here. So let's do that, let's get that coin. Any more bugs over here that I can slap? No. There's some coins that we're gonna get late. Oh, there we go. Sneaky. Ah, you thought you could hide from me, huh? All right. There's one more enemy. Nice. So it's really in your best interest to kind of try and fight as many enemies as you can. Just because you get meat, mainly, and um, some bones as well. I'll just leave this in a room completely just out of context like that. Anyway, so we're going to dissolute hmm, this guy. I think these mystics are the ones that we kind of need to look out for the most. Because they can be a pain in the butt, if I remember that right. And soul crisper, and just all the things. Give him all the things. And he's right dead. Great, and then we're gonna do, hmm, I think we're gonna do the same on the Sinyas, actually, because that other guy, if we're lucky enough, he actually keeps, you know, healing other people. So he's just wasting his turns doing stuff, which I don't really mind, because that just means he's wasting turns not attacking me. So let's dissolute him too, and he should hopefully be dead by the next round. Might even be this one. I ah, know. But there we go. And now he's dead. Oh, I don't actually have enough will. So let's just snap. And dissolute him too. Because he just charged up. And the charge up is actually kind of just like a power up thing. Where you do more damage and stuff. So if we dissolute him and reduce his power that way. He just does less damage. All right, and there he goes. So we got a couple more bones, more meat, stem cell, antennas, cookies. Ah, it just sounds so nice. All these things. Anyway. So let's slap a couple more bugs. And then let's try to find our way actually into the fortress proper. I think we're good enough. Yeah, that looks okay. So there's one more thing that I wanted to get over here. It's a little bit more money. Oh, there's one more guy. I don't really want to fight right now because we've just been through two fights, so let's just try and avoid this guy for now. There we go. We're going to find him later. Don't worry about it. Over here is a couple more coins. One big coin. Ah, nice, satisfying coin sound. Bunch of enemies, we're going to avoid them. And we're going to see what's up here. So over here, this is going to be pretty interesting. There's a couple more bugs that we can slap, and you find all of these monitors over here. Now, these aren't turned on, so we can't get anything out of them, except for a coin on top of one of them. And over here is a strange force field guarding this key. And we want that key. This key isn't actually necessary, I think. I don't think it's, um, I think it's an optional thing to get. But this is a really cool area. 